In this lab, we'll take a look at the 14 facial bones, and then we'll just mention and take a brief look at the auditory ossicles, which are in the ear. Uh, we'll look at them in greater detail when we study the anatomy of the ear in the nervous system, and then we'll take a look at a floating bone in the neck known as the hyoid bone. So as I said, we have 14 facial bones. The facial bones that form the upper jaw are known as the maxilla. So we have two of them. There's going to be one on the left side, and then there's one on the right side. Some of the landmarks that you want to locate, this rim right here is the orbital rim, where the teeth go, right, the sockets. This is known as the alveolar process. Alveolar process holds the teeth. And then in the front, we can't see it too well right here, so I did a side view. This little piece of bone sticking out right here is the anterior nasal spine. Okay, on the skull model, orbital rim, the alveolar process, and the anterior nasal spine. Very easy to locate. Now, forming the front three quarters of the hard palate is the palatine process of the maxilla. So here's our front two teeth. If you were to just take your front teeth and run your tongue backwards, you would feel the roof of your mouth. The front three quarters are the palatine process. We'll do this separate bone here. This is called the palatine bone. Right, here's your palatine process. Now, the maxilla, I'll go back for a moment, the maxilla has a sinus right inside here. I'm sure we've all had a cold or a sinus infection where you feel pressure inside here. That sinus is known as the maxillary sinus. So again, this is a view. Here we have the two eyeballs. Uh, in the previous lab we had done this as the ethmoid sinuses. Here's your nasal septum. And then over here, this is your maxillary sinus right here. One and then two large cavities. Again, the function of sinuses is to humidify the air. So that was our two maxilla. The next two bones, the next two bones are the palatine bones. So I just put here guys that they form the back one quarter of the hard palate. Right? This is your palatine process forming the front three quarters. This is forming our back one quarter. Right? So we have one, two palatine bones. And here it would be on our skull model. The next two bones are the nasal bones. So they form the bridge of our nose. If you put on glasses, you know, sunglasses or reading glasses, your glasses would sit right on these two bones. All right, so here's an anterior view, left and right nasal bones. And then we're just catching the right one here from the side. Side view and anterior view. I had mentioned this in the previous uh, lab when we did the cranial bones. The nasal septum is formed by two bones. This whole wall here is the septum. So the upper part right here is part of the ethmoid bone, which is a cranial bone. This we call the perpendicular plate. But the bottom half is formed by the vomer. Right? The vomer in the front is small. As it goes back, it flares out more like a triangle. So this is the vomer here. And we can see the vomer right over here. So this bottom part is the vomer, the top part perpendicular plate, and that was part of the ethmoid bone. All right, we only have one vomer. Also in the previous video or previous lab, I had shown these as the middle nasal concha. These are part of the ethmoid bone. So there's two other scrolls at the bottom of the nose and of the nasal cavity. These are facial bones, so these we're going to call the inferior nasal concha and there's one on each side All right, so here you can see beautiful nice inferior nasal concha here and an inferior nasal concha here the next two bones are the cheekbones they kind of form the anterior part of our cheek so the bone is called the zygomatic bone there is one process that I want you to know. This is the temporal process of the zygomatic bone. It's going to join with the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. We had done that also in the cranial lab. All right, so we have two zygomatic bones. 
and here they are zygomatic bone and again this little extension here a process is an extension this is the temporal process the next two bones are on the medial side of the orbit so you can see right here this kind of orange shaded bone right here this and we don't really see it too well on this side. Um, this is the lacrimal bone. The lacrimal bones have a little groove in it and it takes the tears and there's a little drain or a hole that opens up and brings the tears down into the nasal cavity. Right? That's why when somebody cries or their eyes are tearing, they need a tissue. All right, so the two bones that are on the inside are the lacrimal bones. Here's a great picture. So here we can see, almost looks like a teardrop, right? This is gonna be the lacrimal bone right inside there. The last bone, right, the 14th bone, is the mandible. This is the only bone that doesn't move that's a facial bone. So, I'm sorry, this is the only bone that does move. All the other bones don't move. The mandible is the only one that does move. So this main part right here, we're going to call the body. As you just kind of touch the front of your chin and went to either side, that would be the body. And just like the maxilla, there's sockets for the teeth. These are called the alveolar process. Then this part going up towards the temporal bone is called the ramus. At the top of the ramus, this point right here is the coronoid process. At the back of the ramus, this is the condylar process. This is the part that's going to articulate with the uh, mandibular fossa to make the TMJ. And then right in between these two structures, the coronoid process here, and the condylar process here, this notch right here is the mandibular notch. Where the ramus meets the body right here, this area here is known as the angle of the mandible, right? The angle of the mandible. Here's a view on the inside. Uh, we actually see on the inside of the ramus, there's one foramen or a hole that I want you to know. This is called the mandibular foramen. And then if we go to the view over here from the outside, there's one on the right side here, and there would be another one on the left side. This is the uh, mental foramen. If you remember, mental means the chin area. Right, so the mandible has two foramen. I want you to know the mental foramen. And on the inside of the ramus is a hole right here known as the mandibular foramen. So those are our 14 uh, facial bones. Let's take a look at the three auditory ossicles. So what we're looking at here is a picture of the ear canal. You can recognize this as the outer ear. Here's the ear canal where we put like a Q-tip in, let's say. And then right in here is our eardrum, right? We call this the temp tympanic membrane. So I just want you to notice there's three bones. One, two, and this little guy over here, three, are the auditory ossicles. As the eardrum moves, say, back and forth like this from sound waves, these three bones move and they tap on this snail-looking structure here called the cochlea. This is where our receptors are for hearing. So the three bones, I just want you to know their names right now, are the malleus, the middle one is the incus, and the third one is the stapes. And some people say stapes. Um, I pronounce it stapes. And so malleus incus stapes and we'll look at them in more detail when we do the anatomy of the ear and the ner the nervous system portion of this um, course the last bone is the um, hyoid bone the hyoid bone you can see here is a bone I love this picture they tilt the gentleman's head back here's his voice box so right above it this is a bone right here. It's a U-shaped bone. It's a floating bone. It doesn't articulate with any other bones. Um, it serves as an anchoring point for a number of muscles. So the parts that I'd like you to know, this main part right here is called the body. Then there are two small projections sticking up. These are the lesser horns. And then this big projection sticking up right here. And here are the greater horns. And again, they all serve as a, an attachment point for muscles.